I'm here at the Guardian Guest House, right on the Giza Plateau, enjoying a nice, beautiful day. It's about 75 degrees. The view here is absolutely spectacular. If you're looking for a good place to stay in Egypt and you're really into the pyramids, this is definitely the place to stay. The rooftop's open 24 hours a day here at the guest house, so you can make yourself at home. I always feel very welcome and at home here. Come up to the rooftop, got some shade umbrellas, tables and chairs to sit and relax. And as soon as you walk out, you're right there to see all the plateau has to offer. And in this area down here is where they have the Sight and Sound Theater show uh, every night at 7 o'clock. They project some lights up on the pyramids and give some Egyptian history. It's not a bad show. I don't necessarily think I would pay for it if I wanted to sit in the seats down below, but being up here on the rooftop of the guest house, it's free of charge to watch, of course, so, but uh, I don't think I would recommend the show necessarily to pay for it. If you leave the guest house out of the front door and then you walk down the street to the right, that last building there right on the corner is the ticket office where you can see the four people uh, at that window right there. It's like they're buying some tickets. And then you go in to the Giza Plateau from there. You either get a carriage or a horse or simply walk up the hill. The entrance to the Sphinx is just to the left of the uh, Sphinx there. And you go in that old temple and walk around and then it has some very nice viewing areas. There's another ticket office that a lot of tour buses and a lot of people come to and that's more over on this side here and uh, that, that's actually the main ticket office uh, because most people go to that office there and then they come up into the Great Pyramid here. Uh, one thing to note that in a lot of pictures based on the uh, perspective it's taken from is that this middle pyramid, uh, Khafre, always looks larger. It sits a little higher on the plateau, but actually Khufu, this is the Great Pyramid here, and it's actually much larger. And uh, the, the blocks are more precise, the blocks are larger, it's uh, more finely built. I, I personally believe that would have been the first pyramid to be constructed, and the other uh, two. Actually, there's nine pyramids on the plateau here. Uh, six are much smaller, but the three main pyramids are generally what people see in the photos. So yeah, a lot of people will buy tickets over here, especially those coming in on a bus, and then they'll, they'll tour the Great Pyramid first and then walk around the plateau. If you want to go to uh, or into the, the Great Pyramid, uh, Khufu, uh, that's, uh, I believe it's an extra maybe $25 to go inside, so I would say once while you're here, if that's of interest to you, it's, it's well worth the money. But I would highly recommend this, uh, this guest house. It's a pretty simple guest house, but it's clean. Uh, the staff is super friendly. Uh, they're very helpful. They've helped me exchange some money, uh, helping me do some laundry, uh, find a cab if I need it, or they also have their own uh, driver for day trips and day tours to different parts of Egypt. It's been a great trip here so far. I've been here now four or five days and this is my third trip to Egypt and I've stayed here every time and uh, just look forward to seeing the people every time I come back. So, If you do visit uh, Egypt and you go into the pyramid complex, one thing you do need to be aware of is a lot of uh, vendors and people trying to get you to ride their camel or ride their horses or buy, buy some trinkets or souvenirs. And you just have to understand that's, that's what they do, that's how they make their living. But from the ticket office up to the pyramids, you'd probably be approached on average seven or eight times. You know, do you want a carriage ride, sir? Where are you from? Do you want to ride my camel? Do you want to ride my horse? Uh, would you buy something from me? And so you just have to be patient with that. Understand, again, that's, that's how they make their money, how they support their family. And, uh, but really good people, super nice folks. 
I enjoy just being up here on the rooftop, simply enjoying the view, listening to the sounds. You got uh, you can hear motorcycles and horses on the street below, horns honking, uh, people just walking around, uh, enjoying themselves. So it's really a uh, really neat place to be. If you haven't been to Egypt yet, I hope you can uh, come here soon. I've felt safe everywhere I've been. I've had no issues at all. Certainly you want to, just like in any part of the world, you want to be careful where you go and what you're doing. I don't really go out here at night, although I'm sure it's, it's fine. But I've been out and about a lot and uh, went to Luxor a couple days ago, visited the Valley of the Kings, went to a couple of the ancient temples there, uh, had a great time in Luxor, stayed at the Senesta St. George Hotel. Uh, the Guardian Guest House staff here set that trip up for me. They arranged my airfare, <clears throat> arranged the hotel and the tour guide, so it was really effortless on my part. I took a walk yesterday out along the the uh, plateau there took some pretty good panoramic shots here's the here's a ticket to get into the Giza plateau you can see that's 300 pounds and that equates again to all oh, roughly 13 or 14 dollars so hope you guys can come to Egypt soon rooms are really nice at the guest house clean and simple, plenty of great uh, comfortable pillows, clean sheets, and uh, of course some Egyptian cotton towels. Gonna head downstairs now and head outside. Short video this morning, walking out of the guest house, down the street to the ticket office, and then into the Giza uh, complex. Hey, Mark How are you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good? Uh, yes, thank lovely you. Morning. It is lovely. Fantastic. Who uh, Just walk around today. Up. One ticket. Up. 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 Okay. Huh? Thank you, sir. Okay, bye bye. Yeah, I'm just going to go in a walk around this morning. Yeah. Do a little touring. But why you make pictures? Huh? Why you make pictures? I'm showing people where the ticket no, 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 office is. It's not is. possible. Huh? No, no, no. It's closed. Thank you. No, no, no. Okay. Photo. No photo. Okay. No photo. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, but you could see they really didn't want me photographing in the ticket office area. Not sure why. But I've been walking around the pyramids the last few hours and then headed back down the street just around the corner from the guest house to a nice restaurant. How are you? I've been eating here about once a day. It's uh, r really reasonably priced for a lot of food. It equates to about 10 US dollars. I've had the lamb chops here. I've enjoyed the chicken. Um, just really friendly service, uh, great lentil soup, some vegetable salad and bread with hummus. It's, uh, These are some of the best fries I've ever had, along with the lamb chops, hummus. Just outside of the restaurant, took a right-hand turn and walking back down the sidewalk, back toward the guest house. Just a quick three-minute walk back to my room. It's yeah. nice to see people out and about. Uh, I found the people here to be quite friendly. Never had any issues. Uh, people asking me if I wanted some tea or some coffee. And then at the end of the street here, there's just a small supermarket where you can buy snacks and supplies, uh, chips and
maybe even a candy bar or two. But it's uh, pretty convenient, just a short walk, literally just two minutes uh, from the guest house. After I grabbed a quick snack, uh, back to my room, wanted to show everybody the outside of the place. The family that owns this building has been renting it out to visitors for about the last 11 years. Before that, it was strictly family members that lived here, but all the guests have their own key to the front door, and it's uh, very convenient just to come off the street and then up the steps into the lobby area. In the mornings, they do serve a nice breakfast, and then uh, there's a small library, and then of course, up two flights from that is the uh, rooftop. They've converted the third floor of the building for the guests to stay in, set up kind of like a hotel. Hello, hello. Mr. Chris is back. Everybody's working hard. <laughs> Thank you if you don't mind to say hello to my family in the oh, U.S. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, so there's Mahmoud, Ratiba, and Amur. Yes. Okay, yeah, that's great. I'm uh, here at the Guardian Guest House, and I've had a wonderful week. These are very uh, friendly people, Thank and they're, so. they're really good friends. Thank, Thank you. And so I've, uh, they give great service, so I would really recommend that if you want to come to Egypt, come to the Guardian Guest House in Giza. Thank, Thank you. Great so view much. and uh, very friendly people. So you welcome you. to anybody. You welcome. Here, give them a welcome. Uh, hi, hi, everybody. Welcome to come to Egypt and welcome to visit us in Guardian Guest House. It's your it's, uh, it's your home anytime. You welcome for everybody. And thank you. Thank you. Would you like to say? Okay. <laughs> All right. Goodbye from Egypt.